Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? I want to go ahead and cover this story because it seems kind of crazy to me that Blizzard would actually pull something like this, especially since cloud gaming is pretty much going to be the wave of the future. Uh, today, we found out that Activision Blizzard pulls all games from NVIDIA GeForce Now. So that essentially means, well, th that exactly means that you're not going to be able to play anything that Activision slash Blizzard owns on the GeForce Now platform, which I think is a damn shame. But anyway, I'm going to leave my opinion for the end of the video. Let's go ahead and get into the article, all right? Activision Blizzard pulls all games from NVIDIA GeForce Now, so wave goodbye to Call of Duty, which is the big freaking hit. Streaming service has lost all Activision Blizzard games and the faith of some subscribers. Probably going to be a lot more by the end of the freaking day. Anyway, let's go ahead and check it out. Activision has just pulled its games from GeForce Now in a move that has upset many folks who have just signed up for NVIDIA's freshly launched game streaming service. Here's our verdict on GeForce Now. We're not going to be reading any of this crap. An announcement from an NVIDIA staff member on the GeForce Now forum informs users that, per their request, please be advised Activision Blizzard games will be removed from the service. While unfortunate, we hope to work together with Activision Blizzard to re-enable these games and more in the future. That means Battle.net and the following titles are no longer accessible via GeForce Now. <sighs> and here's a whole huge list of what you're not going to be able to play on the NVIDIA GeForce Now streaming service, which is a huge kind of slap in the face to a lot of the fans who did sign up for this so they can play uh, the, some of their favorite games from one of their favorite game developers. You know, Black Ops 3 and 4, not really missing a whole lot from there. Uh, Infinite Warfare, which is okay. The the Modern Warfare and all, all basically all this stuff. Construction Simulator, I know that's a huge loss. Uh, the Insane Trilogy, which is sad. Uh, Diablo 3, Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft, Heroes of the Storm, Overwatch. That's a shame. Uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, the Reignited uh, Spyro Trilogy, StarCraft Remastered, StarCraft II, uh, and w all the World of Warcraft stuff. And that's a real shame because NVIDIA has uh, a very impressive graphical capabilities that can push these games to their absolute limits. In fact, it's, it's sort of... NVIDIA, I, I kind of don't want to spout their slogan... But it is sort of the way that it's meant to be played. It's pretty damn good if I have to say so myself. I, I haven't really used any other video cards that can uh, match the uh, the power that an NVIDIA card has. In fact, uh, I, I've had a few cards that aren't NVIDIA burn up on me. But so far, I have one NVIDIA card in here right now. The 1070 Founders Edition for like the last two years. And it just keeps chugging along, chugging along. It's a freaking great card. All the other off-brand non-NVIDIA cards, though, they burn up on you in about a year and a half, two years. And that's a real shame. NVIDIA officially launched GeForce Now only just over a week ago at the start of February. And this represents a hell of a blow and the loss of a... And the loss of a lot of big name games, as you can see, Overwatch and World of Warcraft, for example, and of course the Call of Duty franchise, which uh, will uh, of course be a huge detriment and a huge. It is, like I said, a huge slap in the face, and it's it's really sad because you kind of think, well, there's not really any alternatives here. I mean, what are you gonna do? Go to go to the Stadia? <laughs> We certainly see quite a few comments online from people who have just bought the latest Call of Duty and indeed the likes of Sekiro Shadow's Eyes twice, knowing that they don't have a gaming PC good enough to run it, and having made their purchase with the specific intention of streaming these titles over GeForce Now. Huge middle finger, man. Huge middle finger. What's the deal? Why did Activision Blizzard pull the rug? That's a very good question and one with no official answer currently. But it certainly seems like horrendously bad timing that this has happened only just after GeForce Now launched. Clearly the publisher wasn't happy with the way things were working out with NVIDIA's service somehow, or there were whispers that there perhaps a rival streaming service has signed, has signed a deal or is about to sign a deal with Activision and Blizzard. 
The rumor mill fingers are pointing to Google Stadia. God, I hope not. Others point to Blizzard's licensing agreement forbidding cloud computing usage for its games. But if that's the case, why wasn't this sorted out previously? Why wait until after the launch to pull these titles? Whatever's going on, the incident could compound NVIDIA's misery by making people nervous about buying games specifically to play on GeForce Now. If the if their PC or laptop isn't up to the game's spec requirements and they can't play it locally if the title gets dropped from the NVIDIA service. This just makes it seem like GeForce Now is built on some shaky, somewhat shakier ground than rival services in this respect, and folks are already pointing to Shadow as an admittedly more expensive alternative where this scenario just doesn't happen because you can install and play whatever games you want remotely. The forum post further notes that there are hundreds of games supported on GeForce Now and over 1,500 titles which developers want uh, brought into the fold, with NVIDIA looking to add fresh games on a weekly basis. So there's a bit of good news right there. I'm really glad that they actually have that going on, and maybe they'll have uh, some much better forward momentum uh going on in the next few weeks or next few months because this is a huge slap in the face by blizzard this was really unnecessary uh they can make just tons and tons of money uh with in the long run i uh, it seems like they're just they want the short-term game rather than the long-term one and in my opinion i think this is a really bad move uh GeForce really is the way to go. Nvidia's cards are solid. Like I'm, I'll go ahead and shill for Nvidia. Like I, like I said earlier, I'm kind of a fan of theirs, and uh, I, I can't help but just, you know, just recognize the writing on the wall. I'm thinking maybe like Hill versus Babyface uh, said. Uh, in his video about this subject, more than likely there's another offer on the table that seems to be more lucrative for Blizzard, and since they uh. Well, they're either trying to cut freaking money, they're, they're trying to cut corners and cut costs, or they're trying to do something. And, I mean, I, I don't know. It's it's really just sad that this is going to be the, uh, the, the very first thing that everyone's going to really look at GeForce now and sort of say, well, this happened. Maybe this isn't going to be a great service after all. Maybe Google Stadia is the only... Uh, alternative. I've never heard of this shadow uh, alternative, so I'm hoping that maybe that will be a good one. But I don't know. I guess time will tell. Uh, the next few months, I think we'll probably see how well established GeForce Now's uh, streaming service is. And hopefully this doesn't come back to bite it in the butt because I really do want this to succeed, because it seems like a really good idea. Initially, I wasn't really that hot for uh, cloud gaming and all that stuff, but as internet technology advances, and I'm hoping that this advances with it, I'm sure that everything will be, for the most part, pretty fine. Unless, of course, the ISPs start to really screw us all over and they start to charge by the gigabyte, which they've been trying to do for quite some time, but so far, uh, customer anger is still a thing. Uh, customer complaints are still a thing. Bombing their freaking uh, or bombarding their uh, uh, customer complaint line is still a thing. So hopefully that never really happens. But anyway, thanks for watching the vid. I really appreciate it. If you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And please, please, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out immensely and it helps grow the brand and stuff. Anyway, you guys take care. Ta-ta.